hey what's up guys welcome back to another video and in this video we'll be taking a look at the latest beta version of hydrogen os which is released by oneplus yesterday so it is released for both oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t for oneplus 3 it is beta version 21 and for oneplus 3t it is beta version 50. so guys in this build there are not many changes few bug fixes and a uh, few things which I'll tell you after uh, showing you the installation process and I'm showing you the installation process because um, many of my users request me to include the installation process so for this uh, right now I'm using MIUI uh, ROM which I have done a review if you guys want to check you can check out my previous video and uh, there's a new build for MIUI ROM you guys can check out that is build 7 now I'll show you uh, how can you install hydrogen OS latest uh, version and this is a file which needs to be flashed this is a complete room hydrogen os can be installed via twrp recovery and official recovery because it's an official software so you guys can also install with official recovery that is oneplus recovery so right now i'm running twrp recovery on my device so first i'll reboot my device to twrp recovery so once my device boots to twrp recovery what i'll do is i'll wipe system from here because i was using miui room so i'll wipe everything including system but I won't wipe internal memory as it has the zip file so I swipe to wipe and once this is done I go back I go to install and I flash the hydrogen OS so the now process has been completed I'll reboot my device and I'll complete the initial setup after that I'll get back to you guys after that I'll also show you what are the changes and will also include how can you install Google application on this ROM So after you complete your installation process and you can see my device is perfectly working fine with hydrogen os that is the latest beta version so i'll just go to settings and show you about device so you can see here uh, hydrogen open beta was 21 with a security patch of uh, 1st august 2017 android version 7.1.1 so these are the things in hydrogen os uh, about phone so now let's take a look at this change logs what they have mentioned according to their forum so first thing uh, under system they have add soft screen mode so they have added a soft screen mode under settings you need to go to display and under display you need to go to screen calibration and here you can see you have a soft screen mode available so you have three options that is uh, rgb and custom color mode only this is the addition which they have done and after that they have optimized the depth cleanup logic to prevent the desktop widgets so uh, that is something related to desktop widgets later they have fixed occasional uh, login failure in oneplus account so here you have a community application and uh, sometimes uh, under settings also you face issues while uh, logging in to the oneplus account from here so this was the issue uh, many users are facing while logging in so they have fixed this and after that they have browser application updated to version 3.0 so let's check this also let me go to the main menu and i go to app info so here you can see the browser version is 3.0.25 and fix other problems so these are the things what are included in the change logs not much of change logs so uh, you can expect the same thing in oxygen os which will be coming maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow after that one more uh, thing guys these chinese applications can be directly uninstalled by long pressing or by going to the sys applications so now uh, we'll do a benchmark test uh, for that we need uh, google play services so google play service does not come in hydrogen os so for that what you need to do is you need to download an application called google installer version 2.0 so this is a google installer version 2.0 i'll mention the link in the description below once you download make sure you are connected to wi-fi you just open this everything is in chinese so tap this once and you'll see something like this you need to keep on installing these things And I think you'll get an error in Google Play services. So you can see uh, it says uh, app not installed. Just hit done. Go to your browser and from APK mirror download Google Play services APK. So once you download this, just install. Go back 
to this and this application should work now so you can see the process completes next you get uh, calendar sync you can install this and google contact sync the last one is google play store So you can see all the applications have been installed now you can just head to google play store and update your google account and also update the applications required so i'll just complete this and get back to you guys so now i have updated everything and uh, play store is working fine you can see everything is available here and uh, after that i have also done a geek benchmark test uh, to show you guys what are the results and we'll compare it with the previous version you, in that you can see towards your right hand side the single core was a 1723 and in this build it is 1756 and multi-core it was 3968 but on this one it has come little down that is 3963 that is not a big difference and uh, it's always a good performance from hydrogen os what i have been saying it is always uh, been battery friendly so as of now that's all in this video guys uh, if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day